Hello everyone. To this video, I'm going to talk about AEM 6.4 for science session. I'll be creating a sample and testing it. Let us see the steps involved. To create a person session, we need to create a brand first. Then we need to create an activity. Then we need to create an experience for the activity. Now we need to map the experiences with audiences, apply target to a component, and simulate the experience using context hub. Let us go to the demo part. So as part of this demo, I'll be talking about creating audiences in AEM 6.4, create a band in AEM 6.4, create an activity in AEM 6.4, Configure the personal session in AEM 6.4 and testing the configuration. Okay, now let us start the demo. I have logged into the AEM 6.4. I'll go to personal session. So to test personal session, I need to create an audience first. So let me go to the audiences. So I have global, V retail, and weekend site listed. I'll be working on the V-Retail section. So to create an audience, we need to have a context hub. So I'll go and create a context hub segment. I'll be creating a male and a female sample versions. So I have given a title as my male sample. The boost I'll leave it as it is, so I'll create it. Okay, the success message is right. As you can see, the segment is listed here now. So I'll go and edit it now. So these segments are used to test some condition. So as you see the left side, we have a set of properties listed. So I'll add one of those components here. This says comparing property null. So I am going to configure that thing. As you see, the segment is ready now. I have added a comparing property, profile or gender equals male, which means the for male candidate, this segment will get satisfied. So let us test it. So I'll go to persona. I'll select a female version. You can see the message data loaded in context of do not resolve the current segment. So now let me go and select a male candidate. Okay, now it became gray. As you see, data load in the context of this all the current segment. So this main version segment is created. To test personalization, I need multiple conditions or segments. So let me create another one. I'll repeat the similar process here.
now I will test the segment. Selecting a female candidate, you can see the segment gets resolved. Let me change it to a male. Now it says data loaded in the context of do not resolve to the current segment. Now we have created the audiences. We have the audiences ready now. Next step is creating brands. Let us go to the brand section. I'll go to activities. We can see two brands already created. So I'll go ahead and create a new brand. I'll select the default template. I'll leave the tag section as it is. You can see the sample brand is listed here. Since no activity is added with this brand, you can see the brand listing is zero. We have created a brand. Now let us create an activity. I'll open the sample brand which was created previously. Create an activity. We have multiple options for targeting engine, context of client side rules, adopt target. I'll leave the context of as it is because I'm going to use the context of. I'll add the experiences. I leave this section as it is. You can see the activities saved now. We have multiple options like properties, edit, publish, manage publication, and delete. I'll just click on edit to just preview the things. We have now created the audiences, brands, and activity. So our next step is creating the website fashion. So let me go to the e retail English page. As you see, I have authored a sample image in this page in edit mode. So next is I'll go to the targeting. So you can see the brand and activity enabled here. If you click on this, you can see the sample brand which is created now and it automatically selects the activity because only one activity was created, that is test activity. So now I will go for start targeting. As you see, you can see the targeting option is enabled. So I click on this target. Now this target component is targeted. 
So we have options to disable targeting. I not do that. Let me go and test the application now. So as you see, we have my male sample and uh, female sample listed here. This was the experiences created. So for male sample, I am going to other a male image. And for my female sample, I know there are female images. I have option to add multiple experience targeting. I will not do that. Already I have two experiences. Click on next. So we can see that two experiences mapped here. Click on next. So I leave this page as it is. Save the target. Now this page is targeted. So let me go to the preview mode. Let us see how to test this targeting. So we have the image as it is for the default. Now you see the person here. We have administrator. So the default is listed here. Let me go and change the profile to a female candidate. I had authored the experience as a female image. It has appeared. Let me go and update it to a male candidate. As you see, the male image appears. So this is the way we test a person's session sample. If you have any queries, do let me know through the comment section. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.